All right, we have uh, a little bit of prep work to do. I've already broken down the redfish uh, into fillets. We're going to take one of the one of the fillets, remove the skin completely, and then we're going to use that skin, crisp it up, and make a oh uh, redfish skin bacon. For uh, the candied orange zest, we're going to simply start with a simple syrup, which is 50% water, 50% sugar. We're going to let it come to a boil. And we'll reduce the heat a bit, and we're going to let this reduce by about 50%. And then we're going to add the orange zest to it and take it off the heat and let the orange zest candy up for us. Uh, the burr block, we're going to start with some shallots, uh, finely chopped. We'll do a half a cup of wine. It's real important when you're cooking with wine that you cook with a wine that you want to drink. Um, if, if it's not drinkable, it's going to taste bad in your food. Um, if you can afford it and you're drinking a nice wine, certainly use the wine that you're drinking in your dish. Otherwise, find a less uh, expensive wine and use that for cooking, but taste it first, you must be able to drink it. Uh, so we're going to add some oranges, orange to this. I know you see some chunky little bits of the orange going in here. That's fine for now because we will be straining this bird blanc and taking those things out. You see how we've reduced everything? Now we're going to start adding butter, just a little bit at a time. So we're going to lightly salt and season these dishes, but when we finish them, we're going to finish them with a really nice sea salt uh, that's flaky. Uh, the flakes uh, will give you a, a nice, quick, salty bite. So you're not going to miss the flavor that salt gives you in a dish, uh, but you are going to eat less salt. Okay, because we had some chunky bits in our burr block, and just strained it, strained the chunky bits out, so that we have a nice, smooth burr block. Okay, see this? Do not throw that away. Uh, what you can do is uh, let it chill, and then what you do are going to end up with beautiful compound butter. Uh, that it'll be very, very nice uh, on your toast in the morning or with a biscuit. I've removed the skin from one of our fillets, and I'm going to slice it up into smaller bits. Um, this is definitely going to need some salt uh, to help render the oils from the skin. And then we're going to use this uh, to make our redfish bacon. Uh, we got a pan going over here. Nice little cast iron skillet. We'll put a little bit of olive oil in it. Let that heat up very, very quickly. There we go. Now, if the fish starts, if the skin starts to curl. I've got a brick here that's covered in foil, and we'll be able to put that onto the fish skin and keep it from curling. Oh, well, that sounds just like bacon, doesn't it? Final thing we do, because it cooks so quickly, especially when you're serving only tiny bites, uh, we are going to sear the fish. We're going to sear it in a hot olive oil skin side down. Well, that's smoking, so we're going to take it off a little bit. And we're going to place each little morsel there. I made sure that the skin on the fish is dry uh, because that will help with its searing um, and help prevent it from sticking. We're not going to turn this, we're going to let it continue to sear on the skin, but we're going to finish it off at a very um, uh, low degree. 
And now for plate. Tiny bit of bird block. One thing about keeping balance is you don't want to add too much of any one component. Um, this is quite fatty, there's a little bit of sweetness, and you don't want to create just an enormous puddle <laughs> of bird block sauce in there. You want to keep everything beautifully balanced. And we're going to put a nice, pretty piece of Red fish on two. Then we're going to add our fish bacon. Now the fish bacon is quite salty. Um, so we're just going to add a tiny little bit of additional seasoning. And then we're going to add this beautiful, beautiful to the top. And there you have it. Redfish in orange beurre blanc sauce with caramelized onions, fish bacon, and candied orange zest.